phone now. Great. So we're really proud about this phone. Uh, it's the largest screen that we have on a physical QWERTY keyboard device to date. 3.1 inch Super AMOLED display with 720 by 720 uh, resolution uh, with touchscreen and then clearly the keyboard that people know and love today uh, on BlackBerry. Uh, it's very, very tactile, feels really good under the thumb. And then as well, we've designed some custom materials for this phone, specifically a glass weave back that's a composite material. It's, uh, it's not available in any other consumer device today. This is something that we're really proud about. Uh, kind of have to see it in person, do it justice, but it's got a bit of a 3D effect. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a flat carbon fiber design. Yeah, thing. Okay. yeah, in a way. But it, you know, it uh, feels really good in the hand. And uh, so maybe I'll show you a bit about the phone now uh, in terms of the, the user interface. It's very similar to what's on the Z10. You can swipe up to wake up the phone. And at any point, I'm just one swipe away from my hub. So the BlackBerry hub functions the exact same way. We're trying to take advantage of the, the large screen to show as much as we can. Um, and so you don't see any tactile buttons. There's no back or home buttons. It's, the new paradigm is all gesture based. And so if I go into, the, let's say I'm going to compose an email. Um, Let's say I want to do, well, let's go in here, we'll compose yeah, an email. So typing on it, it's just like it would be on my uh, on my previous BlackBerry device with the keyboard, but you can see the suggestions are coming up in line. So, hello everyone, you know, um, how are you all doing? And as I'm going, you can see it's really one, one, just a little bit of a stretch up to select the word, but the predicted the prediction engine works very similar to how it does on the Z10. Uh, very fluid, and uh, the keyboard complements it really well. Okay. I noticed on a previous phone that the auto correction has multiple languages, but uh, it actually corrected the raw, uh, foreign language for me when I didn't intend to. Like it put pardon instead of person. Is there a way to turn that off? You can you can always customize, disable, or change the languages, speak the languages okay. that are available. It's very simple. So I'll show you here. Um, I'll go back to the home screen. I go into settings, and then inside of settings, you can you can you can tweak the the language settings so that you can change everything, the input languages, um, and customize it the way you would want. Okay. So otherwise, the Q10 and the Z10 are fairly similar in terms of hardware. They've got the same type of processor, same camera. They're both using an 8 megapixel rear camera. Uh, 5x digital zoom, capable of recording 1080p video, has LED flash. Uh, they both have the 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, NFC, Bluetooth 4.0. So the only thing that remains to be seen is battery life, which uh, RIM has not disclosed yet, or I should say BlackBerry has not disclosed quite yet, because uh, they're still working on that and they have to individualize it for carrier and market. But this is a look at the Q10, and you should expect this fairly soon in, in the U.S. market and 